Okay, um, <clears throat> so my name is Presley, and today I'm going to do a little demo of my newest device that I got um, this past February. It's called the Braille Sense U2, and it was made by a company called Hims. Um, it's kind of like the Braille Note, which I did a, few, a, li a video a few months ago, so if you haven't already seen it, you should probably go check that out too. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, uh, it's pretty similar to that, but it's like an alternate device. It's like a personal little laptop for the blind and visually impaired. Um, I can do schoolwork and homework and stuff like, on, like that on it. I can use email. It has YouTube access, access the internet, and it's, um, it's a pretty cool device. And, um, so like, um, it, there, there's like, similar to the Braille Note, there has this refreshful Braille display right at the very bottom of the, of the, of the device. And um, you read it and to see um, to see what it says. Um, and so like uh, a little demonstration about what it does. Like say you wanted to go to YouTube and um, like you would type in the name of the video and what, if, what you want to listen to. Like uh, a breaking news theme song or sound effect or something like that. There's a, uh, there's a... Uh, pages of 50 items there's at least 10 pages of the 50 items that you can click on and then once you find the video you want to listen to you, you, pr you can press enter which is on the very far right over here and then it loads for mm, 15 30 minutes or so depending on how long the video is and it will um <clears throat> it'll it'll um when it's finished it'll say title and then the name of the video you're wanting to watch. And if you uh, if you want to find out other information on that video, like the description, the author, the view count, or something like that, uh, right over here, this is the fun function key three. Uh, there's four different function keys: one, two, three, and four. Function key three will allow you to do um, <clears throat> to to go to different parts of the video and just you know um, you know like. Um, read the description and the view counts and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> to pause it is the space bar and then um, you can just listen to it um, whenever, whenever you want as long as you have an internet access and so um, it's, it, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool so yeah. Would you, uh, can you um, show us each button and tell us what those buttons are for? Of course. So these buttons are right, right here are one, two, three, four, five, six. Those are the keys that I type with. On the far right, far left is backspace. On the far uh, right is enter key. And then um, in the middle is the space bar. And these down here are the cursor keys. So like if you make a mistake in your document and you want to um, go back and find your error and fix it and stuff like that, you can use those cursor, cursor keys to do that. And these over here, there's two on each side, those are like the scroll keys. And like, say, like you're reading a book or something like that, and the line is finished, when, like when you're reading it, and it's all the way, you go all the way from here, all the way to here, and the line is finished, the, the, the whole thing is finished, and there's still more to read, then you can use um, these to... Um, you can use these to kind of scroll, and then these, as I mentioned, are the function keys. Function key one is usually like to um, exit for, uh, like to um, exit um, a file or something like that. And it's also like a, a volume and stuff like that. If you wanted to do it, go down. Like if you wanted to um, do um, take d turn the volume down or something like that. Like um, there's there's speech on it too, but if you want to turn the, the speech volume down, it's backspace and F1, and then the the main volume, like with the sound quality and stuff like that, it's backspace, um, F1, and the space bar, and then uh, function key two is like a um, another function key, like if you want to turn the speech on and off, and the like the braille display on and off. And then function key three is like a, a list, like with the YouTube thing, with the title and the description and all that. And then F, function key four, F4, is um, another one of those volume and stuff like that. So, and, uh, so like, um, to turn it up, speech is um, 
backspace and that function key four, and then uh, main is backspace space and F4. So basically, that's all the buttons. Okay. Yeah. And I see you have a cord plugged into the front there. What's that for? Um, that is the speaker system. So like when I'm listening to a video or something like that, on some videos the sound quality isn't really isn't really that good. So um, if you if you can't hear the videos or something like that, you can plug the speakers into um, right up right over here. Like I'll uh, I'll turn it I'll turn it off so you can see. Uh, right in right in here is the phone is the headphone jack um, where you can plug things in like a headphones or speakers or something like that. Okay. So yeah. I see other buttons and connections down there. Yes. Um, so this area is the um, AC adapter co uh, connection, and then this is the is this. The, what's really neat about this is it has a function where an option where you can lock and unlock the keys. So like if you are uh, are wearing a dress and you have a special event and you don't want it to because it has velcro on the back of it if you don't want it to get snagged and um, and uh, uh, you don't want it to bump any of the keys and stuff like that you would put the you would put the cover on which is right over here and then um, put the cover up on uh, and lock the lock those keys and then um, <clears throat> in in this area is all kinds of you know like USB stuff like that monitor VGA and all that. And then this right over here is the um, reset button. So, like, if you've had a problem with um, the Braille Sense, um, then you'll press that button. And then um, down here, as I mentioned, uh, the headphones jack. And then right over here is the microphone. So, like, if you're doing, like, a recording and you need to, like, plug in a microphone or anything like that, then that, you use that, too. Okay. It looks like there's uh, some buttons. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Uh, it looks like there's some buttons there by the where your microphone connection is and everything so arrows mm -hmm. and like are those like looks like maybe the same kind of buttons you'd see to fast forward or pause or play i'm not really sure what those are for okay we haven't checked those out very well yet okay nope. that's what those look like looks like it may be a stop mm -hmm. and a forward and reverse um buttons yeah very cool um so can you uh i also see that there is a a readable screen on top mm -hmm. um that is uh i guess that allows a uh, uh, a sighted person to be able to look at the device and mm -hmm. identify what function or uh what um setting that the uh braille sense is currently um currently operating on, yeah. on yeah exactly you do a better job of explaining this than i do <laughs> okay um now there was another key function, uh, one of the main things, mm -hmm. features about the Braille Sense, I know, is uh, it had something to, uh, to do with math. Can you uh, talk a moment about that? Yes. Um, for the visually impaired, there's this method for math that makes things a lot easier. It's called the Nimeth Code. And so, like, it's a set of, like, um, it's a set of, like, symbols and numbers and stuff like that. That you can use um, to, um, to to write math problems out and stuff like that. And then um, <clears throat> in some some problems like with long division or something like that, you would have to line your numbers up in linear format. The Braille Sense will automatically line up your numbers for you. That way you don't. That way I don't have to do all kind all the spatial arrangements and line it up myself. Well, that's awesome. And the Braille Note, which is sitting right next to the Braille Sense, mm -hmm. the Braille Sense is the white device. The Braille Note is the black device. Mm -hmm. The Braille Note you use for a number of years, um, and you use this every day. Mm -hmm. I mean, like several times, several hours a day. You use this for schoolwork, for homework. You use this for study and research. It's also a, 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 a very big form of entertainment for you in terms of you listen to the radio, um, you listen to a lot of audio files, you can listen to books on tape or audio books, um, access the internet. Uh, you know, it's a very, very big part of your learning and entertainment on a daily basis. It is. Yeah, and the Braille Note did not have the capability to, to do the Nimeth math 
function, correct? Well, I could do the nimbus function, but it, you, it couldn't line up your numbers. You had to do all the spatial arrangements and line it up yourself, which is kind of tiring. Well, okay, gotcha, gotcha. It's a lot of extra uh, effort, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, um, do you think you could uh, maybe show us, uh, maybe do a function on, on the uh, Braille sense so we could see how the, uh, the refreshable Braille screen operates? Of course. Um, so, like, um, I'm get I'm gonna demonstrate demonstrate the YouTube format. Like, um, it says um, breaking news sound effect number six hundred twenty free download, and that's like the title of the file. And so, like, if I press the enter key on the far right, it'll say loading, and then it will do its thing. And then once the once it shows up as the title, it'll start playing. Okay. Yeah. Um, could you pull up a... Uh, okay, we hear it playing there. Yeah. Now, it has its own built-in speaker. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you're able to listen to it um, without having it connected to speakers. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want to, you can, like, like we saw a few minutes ago, you had uh, external speakers connected. Mm -hmm. So, if you're listening to music or whatever, you can get a better, you know... Sound. Yeah, yeah. better sound. You can turn it up louder or what have you. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Um, do you think you could pull up like your pull up an an email or something, and then just uh, demonstrate how you would read an email? Uh, I just want to be able to let the people see how cool the uh, how neat the refreshable Braille screen is, and and how you read down it, and then when you get to the end of the screen, you hit the uh, scroll key, and you'll see these uh, these Braille. Um, on the screen, you'll see the different uh, configurations appear. Okay, yeah. So, like, um, <clears throat> with with this, um, there's four different emails, and so, like, um, this is the third one up, and then it says opening message when I press the enter key, and then um, it says message body, and it says, Douglas MacArthur, 1880-1964, was an American general who commanded the Southwest Pacific in World War II, 1939-1945, oversaw the successful Allied occupation of, of um, <clears throat> post-war Japan, and led United Nations forces in the Korean War, 1950-1953. And so I just keep on pressing the scroll buttons and uh, keep on reading the email until, it's, um, until I read it all. Wow, that is awesome. Yeah. That's such a cool device. It is. Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad that uh, that is available for, for you and for others uh, that benefit from um, all the technology and the capabilities of these uh, remarkable instruments. Yes. Uh, you know, these things are so, so uh, sophisticated. Mm -hmm. um, virtually, it is a laptop. Um, because it has so many of the functions that a laptop does. Um, and there are upgrades for software and firmware that come out routinely. And uh, it's just, it's been a blessing that you had it. I mean, you're, an, you're a great student. Um, by the way, congratulations on, uh, on your most recent report card Friday. Um, Thank you. Once again, the AB Honor Roll. Yes. Um, which is a constant for you. Um, we're proud of you for that. And I'm proud um, of myself. But these devices, and you should be. <laughs> but these devices have... Uh, have been essential and very key in your education um, and just your day-to-day -day activities. I mean, uh, I see you working on these things all the time, and uh, it's just a uh, it's just been really cool. And I have people that ask me about you all the time and ask about how you do this and how you do that and school and and stuff like that. And uh, you know, I try to explain the Braille note or the Braille sense to them, and it's just. It's hard for me to put into words and give a, you know, a really detailed description and make it to where they can understand what it is that I'm trying to describe. So uh, I thought it would be cool to do this little video because you can describe it much better than me and you can mm -hmm. give a hands-on demonstration as you have. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fantastic. Well, okay. Um, I really appreciate uh, this video. It's been informative and it's been uh, very cool. All right. All right. That's a cool shirt you got on, too. Oh, thanks. Yeah, what is that shirt? Uh, that is my Dallas Stars um, Elite. Dallas Stars Elite? Yes. Oh, what is that? Uh, that's a, a junior hockey team that my cousin Sam plays on. Um, it's uh, like, um, there's he plays for the Dal uh, Elite 04s, and there's different um, 
age rankings and uh, they play hockey against um, other junior hockey leagues and stuff like that. And uh, their team, Dallas Stars Elite, are the number 22 ranked in the nation. Yeah, they, they finished like number 22 in the nation this year. They're, it's kind of like a developmental program through the Dallas Stars. They're, it's like the highest level of uh, of kids hockey in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex and uh, we're really proud of them. They had a great season this year. Uh, uh, Sam's an awesome athlete and he gave you that shirt for Christmas because we're big fans. We yeah. are. Yeah, and we're wearing it today. Uh, we always wear it when we think of Sam, but uh, the Dallas Stars are currently beating the Minnesota North Stars four to nothing in the yeah. third period. Yeah, and this is the elimination game if Dallas wins on, uh, hangs on to win this. Minnesota will be eliminated, and Dallas will uh, wait to go on to the second round of the 2015-16 Stanley Cup playoffs. Yeah. And go Stars. Go Stars. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and go Sam. We look forward to next season, too. We had a lot of fun uh, uh, going to games and uh, following you as you did tournaments all over the United States. And, uh, yeah. So, anyway, a couple of amazing kids, uh, Presley Reese and... Uh, and Sambo, um, awesome hockey player, both awesome students. Uh, Presley is an awesome musician as well. And um, yeah, we hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you uh, have any questions about anything, uh, uh, if you've ever been curious about um, how visually impaired uh, people um, get through daily life or, you know, challenges they face or just... Uh, Anything like that, um, leave us a comment, ask us a question, and um, look, uh, look for further videos in the future uh, to just give people insight um, because a lot of people don't know uh, much information about uh, this talk topic. So, yeah. Yeah. And don't forget to sub subscribe too. Yeah, subscribe. Check out all our videos. Yeah. CDJPRJ. All right, well, um, thanks again, Presley. No problem. All right, everybody, have a great week. You too. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.